Hi, I'm Susan Sloan with Real Health Quotes, and I'm here today with you, Buono, from Foot Solutions. And we're going to talk to you about your feet and how it affects your health. And I want you to explain, he's a pedorthist, and I want him to explain what that is and why that may be of interest to you and your family members. So a pedorthist is basically someone trained in foot pathology as well as um, what we, a pedorthist does is we do things like um, make arch supports, custom shoes, um, ankle braces, um, basically lower extremity issues is what we deal with. When someone is coming to you, do they typically come because they saw an ad in the paper or is it often that they're referred by a doctor? Sometimes they're referred by a doctor, but majority are actually people that actually find us online or are in dire straits, in pain, and uh, trying to find a solution to a, a specific foot problem they have. So is it that they're, they're going online and looking for, I have this problem, is there a store nearby? How would they find you? So most of the time they're not actually looking for a store per se. They might be looking just for how to deal with a problem they may be having. You know what I mean? They might be having like heel pain or something like that, and then they, they go online to say, how do I deal with heel pain? And then through that search process, we come up as a place that they could go for that kind of solution for a heel pain problem. What kinds of solutions do you provide? It depends on the quality of problem the person is having, by, by the way. So usually, like I mentioned, like something like heel pain, which is very common, the, mm -hmm. it could be a simple thing as just putting an insert in their shoes, or sometimes we make them a custom orthotic, uh, which is a custom arch support that helps resolve that, um, and then getting them to wear better footwear and stuff like that. So usually it varies from person to person what they need um, and what will work best for them. Do you find that a lot of people who are going out and buying cheap shoes often develop foot problems because of some of the footwear they've been wearing that have no support to it? Yes and no. Okay. Because sometimes there's never correlation between cheap shoes and foot problems per se. Mm -hmm. Because if that was the case, then you might say that there should be more foot problems in a poor country in Africa as opposed to a Western world, so to speak. It's, it has more to do with sometimes, a lot more to do with activity and the environment in which we're exposing our foot to. So usually if you're spending a lot of time on hard surfaces and doing a lot of pounding on your feet, on hard surfaces, there tends to be more problems than somebody who's spending a lot of time on soft ground and things like that. I know I had my mom when, um, when I was growing up. She used to wear high heels and pointed shoes. Yes. She ended up with bunions, crossed toes, all sorts of issues. And later on down the line, she said, maybe I could have avoided some of that if I didn't wear those shoes. Yeah, and I mean, high heels, yes, ergonomically, high heels definitely put your foot in positions that are very bad for your feet. But it doesn't necessarily mean that you get your bunions from that. Yes, pointy toes can force the, the foot into that foot shape. But majority of people with bunions, it actually comes from the flattening of the foot that causes most bunions. It's actually not, because there are guys that never wear high heels or pointy toes and still have, and still have big bunions. And most of those are from flat feet. As the foot, the foot is um, made up of individual bones. Mm -hmm. And um, so the foot has, usually has a lot of bones in it. Um, a third of your bones in your body is in the foot. And as the arches collapse, the bones shift out of alignment. And that's what usually causes a lot of that bunion uh, issues. And so even though if you're in restricted shoes like pointy-toed shoes can sometimes misshape the foot, but majority of people, that's not what causes it. It's more from arch collapse. When the arch starts to collapse, these bones shift out of alignment. And that's what the majority of uh, what causes most bunions. Hmm. Well, I appreciate speaking with you today. Youth Store is located in East Norton, right on Germantown Pike. 
and he, he would love to have you stop by. Thank you. <laughs>